What's going on guys? Today, we're gonna start building a smart alarm system through HomeKit, so let's go. What's up guys? Thanks for checking out another video. My name is Shane, and on this channel, I am building an affordable smart home using HomeKit. If that's something you're into, consider subscribing. Uh, so today, what we're gonna do is I'm going to start setting up an alarm system through HomeKit. And I'm gonna be using the Acara Hub and the door sensor. There currently is not really any good solutions out there for an actual alarm system through HomeKit. Some of these companies like Simply Safe, you know, they have their little DIY alarm systems that you can create and they've promised HomeKit support, but so far we haven't seen anything like that. Um, so I got my hands on the Acara Hub. This is actually a Chinese product. I'll put links down below to the products that I've used, but this is actually the Chinese Hub. It came with a free US adapter. Um, they do make a US version of this hub, but it's hard to get a hold of. So this Acara system, it's a Zigbee based system. So all the sensors and stuff that you add through the Acara app, they connect through Zigbee, which means they're really fast and each sensor isn't connected to Wi-Fi, just the hub is. Um, so they work pretty well. Now these products are made by Xiaomi, from what I understand. That company also makes the Mihai, I think I'm saying that right, um, products. So what I'm using today is the Acara Hub. And we're gonna install, we're gonna get it set up through the Acara app. And I've been told that the Mi Home app is actually more stable. People say that they will connect everything through the Acara app, then switch over and use the Mi Home app because it's more stable and they like it better, whatever, to do all your um, automations. For me, I had no problem getting everything to work through the Acara app, so we're gonna do that today. All right, so let's go ahead and we'll pop in this little US adapter, then we'll plug this hub in. It'll start flashing yellow and we'll open up the Acara app and add accessory. We'll find the hub and it'll ask us to make sure we're on a 2.4 gigahertz network. It'll ask us to scan our home kit code. We'll do that. It'll take a second and then it's connected. And it was really that easy. Everything works fine. So now we'll go ahead and we will connect the door sensor. Um, we'll take this thing out of the box and there's a button on here we'll just hold down and within a few seconds it'll connect automatically in the Acara app and it's now connected to the hub. So that connection was really easy. So now I'm going to get this sensor up on the door. Inside the Acora app, choose your hub and you're going to want to select more settings, change the hub language to English. You can click on the triggered devices and here is a list of um, all the connected devices to the hub and you can choose what will trigger the alarm. So you can see our door sensor is here. We'll make sure that's selected so that if the alarm is on and this door sensor is triggered, the alarm will sound. All right, so now for the fun part, let's open up the home app and see what this looks like in the home app. You can see we have our alarm uh, called security system right here. We can toggle this off and on, and you can even use Siri voice commands and set this up with automations and things like that, which is really neat to turn this off and on. If this is set to on, if one of the alarms is triggered, we'll get our loud alarm sound coming from the hub, as well as the flashing red light. And that's it, that's how it looks in the home map. All right, so that's it. We got it set up. Um, as you can see, there's a lot of potential. If I add a lot more of these sensors, I can have my own kind of DIY um, alarm system that works through HomeKit. The speaker gets really loud, so you can turn it all the way up. If one of these things is triggered, I think it would be a good deterrent you know, for somebody, an intruder or something like that. Plus you get your notifications, you can set up automations and all kinds of stuff through HomeKit. If say the alarm is triggered, you can kind of 
change lights and do all kinds of other things as well, which could be really cool. Another thing that's real appealing about these products is their cost. They're very inexpensive compared to some of the alternatives. So for example, I got a leak sensor that I'm gonna connect at a later date, um, but this thing was only $14 on Amazon versus a Fabar the Fabaro leak sensor, $70. Uh, the door sensor, $15 versus an Eve door sensor at $40. Um, they've got things like motion sensors. Those are only $16. You look at a motion sensor from Eve is like $40 and on up depending on what brand you get. Um, they also make vibration sensors, temperature sensors, light switches, all kinds of stuff. So as you can see, all these products connect through the Acara app and with the wide variety of inexpensive products, there's a lot of potential here to really build a security system or whatever kind of system that you like. Again, I'm very new to the Xiaomi and the Acara products, just kind of getting my feet wet. I'm gonna continue building onto this, but if you have tried these or you have any experience with these, drop some comments, let us know what you love or don't love. If you have any questions, drop them down below and I'll try to answer them. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Again, on this channel, I am building an affordable smart home slowly using HomeKit. And that, if that's something you're into, consider subscribing. Check the bell icon to get notified when I make new videos. And until the next video, we'll see you guys later.